So, uh, a couple of nights ago, I got a comment from um, TMAC PhD. And here's the comment. My cardiologist, who's, by the way, a leading cardiologist at Cedar sinai says this is absolutely impossible. While you may curtail the buildup of arterial plaque, it is impossible to rid existing plaque from arteries. Exclamation point. And he's talking about the, um, the video where I said I reversed 20 years worth of plaque. Um, you know what? I get it. Uh, it's uh, that whole, that's my most popular video, by the way. And uh, these days, recently, it looks sort of like a, a clickbait. It looks like this is something for a, um, the, the thumbnail. My new uh, uh, video manager, uh, Kim Hermosa, redid the thumbnail. And I thought, you know what? That's a little bit garish and out there. And I was going to tell her, and then I looked, and overnight, um, our views on that video doubled. So I told her, you, you did fine. It looks great. Let's leave it as it is. But again, so what we're talking about is um, we think we got a doc who's doing the worst of uh, Internet, YouTube, clickbait, telling people what uh, some theory, what they want to hear uh, instead of... Um, reality, right? Wrong. Uh, so, I, obviously, that got me going. Uh, this is an issue that concerns me from several different perspectives. The first perspective I could say is, well, you know what, it, it's an ego issue, and I'd love, I have to do ego battles with uh, other docs and cardiologists all the time. But that's not the issue, the important issue here. The important issue is we have so many problems associated with lack of understanding of prevention. The leadership in medicine, most I talk with cardiologists all the time and most of them don't understand that you can reverse plaque. Um, and this, that, uh, that misunderstanding is not nearly as bad as the misunderstanding that, you know what, the only thing you can do for prevention of heart attack and stroke is lower the LDL. And statins is the only way to do that. But let's get back to the point that you can't reverse arterial plaque. Uh, John and I have done several videos already looking at specific, um, specific articles on uh, plaque reversal. Um, <clears throat> I just quoted three of them. C again, couldn't help it. Yeah, I re responded once, then I went back a few minutes later, responded again, got a couple of other articles, and you see they're in here. You can go to, uh, I pinned this under that uh, video, how to drop or reverse 20 years of plaque. So you can find all of these uh, articles under there. Uh, one of them has to do with just even using Lipitor to get reversal, and you do see reversal with Lipitor. Lipitor is not as good as... Um, uh, resuvastatin or patavastatin in terms of controlling inflammation and that's the big deal here more, much more so than LDL but before I go on um, about those issues let's just get into one of the articles um, and cover some details uh, there this is the um, precise IVUS study IVUS, I-V-U-S, means intravascular ultrasound. And this is uh, parts of the precise, uh, precise IVUS study. Now let me just, uh, you know what, I'm not going to be able to, to show that as well as I want right there. Let's look at this. A, uh, that's delta, this, this is a slide I made for this specific uh, discussion. That thing up at the top left-hand corner says delta uh, PAV. Guess what delta PAV means? Uh, change in uh, percent of atheroma volume. In other words, this is a study looking at how much change you can get. Now, they attribute it, admittedly, to um, LDL. And, but they were using statins, so they're they're assuming it's an LDL issue. Um, 
Now, wait a minute. Let's step back just a second. Where did that come from? Some uh, no-name journal? Well, if you're a cardiologist, it came from Jack. If you're not a cardiologist, uh, the Journal of the American College of Cardiology. Um, 2015, Sujita uh, and Associates. The pre Precise IV IVUS Study. Again, this is a well-known study, and as you look at this, I'll get a little bit bigger to, to show you some of these numbers. Um, as you look at this, this uh, reversal of atheromas is a well-known thing. Again, as I said, A, it's not common, and B, it's, uh, you hardly ever get completely, you never, I've never seen a case of complete eradication of uh, plaque. Uh, what we're talking about here is actually reversing it, though. So, again, as I said, this thing up in the left-hand uh, corner says uh, uh, percent change in atheroma volume, and this blue bar is progression of the volume, and that blue bar there is decline. So every And this is zero. So in every one of these studies... Precise IVUS, atorvastatin alone. Precise IVUS, uh, atorvastatin alone with uh, a different group. Uh, asteroid with resuvastatin. Saturn with atorvastatin. Precise. Uh, Saturn again. All of these, every one of these dots is showing a decrease in the volume of the atheroma or, pardon me, atheroma is plaque. So... Again, um, I, I could go on. I'll, I will, if I can remember to, I'll put a couple of other uh, links to other videos and other articles which show that reversal of plaque certainly can happen. Now, why is that a big deal? Well, it's a big enough deal that, you know, it pulled me out of retirement yet again. Um, we live in a world where Leaders in medicine think that you can't reverse plaque. And unfortunately, and even more, even more unfortunately, we live in a world where leaders in medicine think that it's all about LDL. Uh, we live in a world where Scientific American, one of the leading popular journals on science, publishes an article which says, you're fear-mongering when you look at when you warn people about insulin resistance. Why? Because most people never end up needing insulin. They mo most people never end up getting a full-blown diagnosis of type 2 diabetes. Unfortunately, again, we live in a world where somebody as smart as John uh, Lorscheider, uh, who knows more about this topic and area than most docs I've dealt with, can come to me first as a patient and say, look, I've already looked at my blood sugar. There's no problems with it. My doc looks at it every year, and we're fine. And then as we start to do a workup, John comes back to me and, it, and says, look, actually on uh, the insulin challenge, I almost hit 300. I wonder how many hours a day my blood sugar is at 300. And oh, by the way, my ophthalmologist tells me I have um, damage to my eyes from diabetes. And oh, by the way, my primary care doctor still says, you know what, that insulin survey was rigged to fail. You don't have damage. What? Uh, we live in a world where uh, the leaders in terms of health and coaching get way too wrapped up in things like carbs versus low carbs and then end up with, we have people like like Chuck Smith, who lose 50 pounds on a vegan diet and then have a heart attack. Now, I've got nothing against vegan, vegan diets. Vegan diets, uh, a lot of people have lost a lot of weight, and I remained plant-based for three decades. But here's the problem. We get so focused on uh, low-carb versus uh, low-fat versus vegan versus... And we forget that each one of us is an individual with our own individual issues and, and metabolism. The reason Chuck found, found out that he continued to have, a, still had a heart attack after losing 50 pounds on his vegan diet was that he was insulin resistant. He began watching this channel. He began learning from us that, you know what? 
my uh, triglyceride over HDL ratio was five. One is a safe number. Two is not good. He was burning his uh, arteries, and now he knows that. So we're in a, he's in a different space. We live in a world where uh, people like Gene, um, Gene Lovell can go along thinking, you know what, I'm, I'm a, I've got a little bit of weight problem, but overall I'm, uh, I'm where I need to be. But then develop some heart symptoms, develop a need for a, uh, uh, for, uh, a cabbage, a, a bypass graft, and then he begins to look at himself, begins to think of a different way of dieting, loses 50 pounds and says, that was no big deal. And I'm much healthier now. People like Bob Rosenfeld can say, look, I lost 25 pounds. It wasn't that difficult. And my wife, by the way, says, I look like the man she married. So we live in a world where a lot of bad things continue to go on. Heart attack and stroke, by the way, in case you haven't heard, Heart attack's the number one cause of death. Stroke bounces around between three, four, and five. Used to be number two. But it's clearly the number one cause of disability. And dementia is uh, starting to creep up there in terms of being a major killer. All of these things start from insulin resistance, and we're not dealing with it. In fact, what we're doing is printing articles saying that we're fear-mongering over insulin resistance. So because people won't need, uh, uh, won't need insulin, won't, ha won't develop a full-blown diagnosis of type 2 diabetes. Unfortunately, um, those of us in this world, this culture, who are listening to those experts are um, suffering major death. You know, again, we live in a world where we say, you know what, you've got risk of uh, heart attack and stroke, 10% by Framingham, that's high risk. Uh, whereas we'll tell people, if you have low risk, you're fine. Meanwhile, we'll tell them to ignore um, vascular, intravascular ultrasound, CIMT, and find out people like me and tons of other people that I've seen actually had a 40% 10-year heart attack event risk because we didn't do the CIMT. We live in a difficult world. Uh, I'm overall an optimist. I don't sound like it in this rant, but this is why I'm not gonna retire. As long as we have uh, people that are getting beat up, killed, and disabled by this process, heart attack, stroke, cardiovascular inflammation, I can't retire. Um, if you'd like, so part of this point is, yes, we are open to see patients. We did have to close for a while while I was working with full-time with a couple of companies. Uh, we're back in business, and let us know. All you have to do is go to My Health at, um, at uh, prevmedheartrisk.com. Uh, Michelle can help you get started. And again, be careful who you listen to. Uh, take a look at the science for yourself. Thank, if you've made it this far through that rant, Thank you very much for your interest 